Hey guys, um, it's a quick update for today. Um, I finally got windows loaded on my mining rig and I'm running nice hash now. The reason why I did that was so that I could mine with my CPU as well, just to see what it was like. Uh, it's not great, but it is giving me about 25, 30 more cents a day, which, you know, this about nine bucks a month roughly something like that so let's hop into the computer here real quick and I'll show you the rig uh, what it's doing on nice hash and I'll tell you also about the BIOS um, modification that I did and I'll give you a link to where I got the BIOS mod from I found some dude on eBay for six bucks and It'll give you the BIOS mod for RX, you know, 560, 570, 580 cards, and I think of the, a couple different other ones. All right, let's hop in the computer, and uh, I'll see you in there. Hey guys, Shane here. Uh, just a little mining rig update. Um, I finally did get uh, Windows uh, uploaded on the rig, and I'm now running... Um, Nice hash, as you can see. Uh, it's been going all right. I'm not too too happy with it. Um, I don't like the fact that I can't really mine my own coins. They kind of pick and choose and then turn it into Bitcoin for you. Um, as you can see, I'm mining with my CPU now and my two RX 560s. Um, I did do a BIOS modification and at speed right here, a uh, 20 point, little over 20 mega hash. Uh, that's mining should be Ethereum. Um, that was about 18 before I did the BIOS mod. So it gave it a little bit of a bump, wasn't bad. Maybe 15 to 20 cents a card per day. As you can see right now, it's jumping around. Um, dollar 42 a day cpu's doing 33 cents 31 cents this will go up to a dollar 50 it just bounces around there dollar 52. so what i did is i pulled up uh, and got this profit loss thing on the spreadsheet here so my two rx 560s uh they cost me i went over this in the other video 23 cents a day electricity they're making roughly 75 cents each, so the profit is 52 cents each a day. Um, my Intel Core i5 8600K is 31 cents a day income for a grand total after electricity costs of about $1.35 a day or just over $40 a month. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to mine with this CPU anymore. It's not really that big of a deal. 31 cents. I, I don't think I would do it again. I paid 250 bucks for that thing and it's well over a year ROI. I think it's almost like two years at the current price. Um, I do have this HD 7973 gig should be arriving today so I'll get that set up tonight hopefully and have the income on that and the electricity costs and all that done by tomorrow I am hoping. Um, if anyone is interested in doing that uh, BIOS mod, I found this guy on eBay. I'll put a link in the description. He does 460s, 550s, 560s. I'm pretty sure. Let me scroll down. He does uh, yeah, 570s and 580s. Uh, cost me six bucks. Um, I'm pretty sure that'll pay for itself in about a month or a month and a half of mining with just those two cards. So, I mean, it's not bad. I can't, you know, I'm definitely would do it again. Um, like I said, I did BIOS mod these 560s. I've still, even with the BIOS mod, I've been trying to mess with the memory and the core clock and stuff like that, and it's not really doing anything. So, I think just out of the box, that's just how they are. With the BIOS mod the guy gave me, the guy's name's Paul, um, it did kick it up a little bit, which was good. And also, for some reason, one of these cards I have, I think it's just bad out of the box. Let me pull up right here. You'll see, like, um, on Decred, 
you'll see one GPU is doing 329, the other one's doing 287. Why? I don't know. It's about 50 mega hash off. I've tried the settings on different cards, you know, to, as far as the clock and the memory and everything, and nothing changes. So I think the one card might just be a little bit uh, hurt, I guess you would call it, out of the box, but. It's mine and it's making money, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. Um, the one another thing I don't like about NiceHash is sometimes it'll switch to EquiHash, and I'll get like 215, 225 a day when it switches to that total with the CPU. But for some reason, it's staying on Dagger Decred, and I thought it was supposed to be switching to the most profitable. And every time I've seen it switch to EquiHash, it's a good 40, 50 cents more, but... It's not been doing it lately, so I think I'm going to, might go back to SMOS for now, or try some other type of miner. If you guys have any ideas, maybe what else I should uh, go for, I think I'm going to try and mine Ethereum. I think that's probably the best from what I've read for these cards. Um, but if anyone's got any suggestions, uh, feel free to leave them in the remarks below. If you guys have any other comments or anything that you've seen, um, Again, leave in the comments below, and I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, if you're new to the channel, um, please subscribe to this channel, uh, like the video, and hit the bell icon for future updates. And I think that's it, guys. I don't want to keep talking on here. So thanks, guys, for watching. I appreciate it, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.